Hey, everybody. Welcome to our weekly off ecosystem office hours call. I am your host, Jinx, and I'm joined, as always, by the best and brightest in the pocket ecosystem. We're going to let the uh, uh, call get started here with uh, Fred kicking off on protocol updates. All right. Let's do this. I got the notes in front of me and everything on time. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are still uh, hard charging towards Shannon beta test net. Um, there are several features that are in the process of code review and just a few just outstanding features. Um, everything is moving along as expected. I don't, I don't expect any major delays and we'll, we'll keep you guys updated as progress moves forward and we get closer and closer to actually going live with the, uh, the beta test net. So very exciting times. Um, with that, we're also working on uh, just tooling, load testing, um, and really making sure that Path and Shannon play very nicely together. Um, as we go into Shannon, be or, yeah, Shannon Beta Testnet, we are, uh, we're, we're looking to have uh, Path in a position where it can replace the AppGate server and be the, the gateway of choice um, uh, to play with Path, or to play with Shannon. <laughs> um, going down the list into Path updates, uh, right now uh, we're really focused on just some QoS uh, code being pushed mainly around Solana and then ETH and by proxy EVMs. Um, we're also working on uh, getting started with observability uh, as well as some uh, trimmed down ways to deploy path to make it a, the barrier to entry just as minimal as possible. We want this to be a very easy piece of software to have a lot of great documentation and to uh, really be something that people can pick up and run with so we can get decentralized demand ready to rock for Shannon. Um, also working on uh, just kind of some of the normal SaaS features uh, being implemented with uh, Envoy Proxy. Um, beyond that, uh, we had the Moors upgrade today, and I see Olshansky is in here if he wants to add any color, but uh, the big uh, issue that was outstanding and went into a lot of research was an off by one error. Um, I think we've all dealt with those and how frustrating those can be. So. Thanks, Wolshansky, for keeping your nose to the grindstone all day yesterday and really researching and understanding what was going on. Um, and from just a uh, like portal slash Grove uh, general updates, um, the F chains, we probably will go into next week before we roll any out, um, but we will be converting all of Grove's chains uh, support to F chain support. Um, and we also had a little bit of a disruption along with the upgrade yesterday. Um, we did a lot of things around the upgrade, but the the infamous dispatchers, we missed updating our own dispatchers. Uh, so that caused us some some pain deep into last night. Um, thank you to Anoski who actually tipped me off um, and said, hey, you're sending me old block heights. What's going on? And then, uh, yeah, that such uh, began that saga. And big thanks to one of our engineers, Heber, who stayed up very late last night. And I tried to stay with him, but I was falling asleep with my keyboard. Um, and we, we got it done. So that should be all fixed. Um, and yeah, I think lastly, we're just looking at, uh, by the end of this week, we are going to have a listing for Grove in the Google Marketplace that we're, uh, we're very excited about. So we'll make more announcements about that and more noise once we're done and through. Uh, but we're kind of in last minute development territory before they are throwing the lever for us. Um, and hopefully that'll open some doors with some Web2 customers and some GCP customers. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Any uh, questions or thoughts on that? All right, seems like no. Oh, HT is typing in the chat. Let's see. Also, for anyone who's here for the first time, if you're not able to come off mute for whatever reason, um, you are welcome to type out questions or comments uh, in the chat, and I'll read them out. Uh, HT says, beta test net two weeks. Uh, I'm not sure, Olshansky, if you want to comment on that, I let me look at the roadmap. Uh, the easiest way to tell when things are set to roll is by looking at the roadmap in GitHub. Um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. 
We are aiming to get beta testnet out in November. Uh, but anyone who's seen any timelines I've put online before, uh, I don't want to get started again. So two weeks is what we're pushing for. Very, very, very hard. Uh, November is what's likely going to happen. If it goes past November, there will likely be an unknown unknown that myself or anyone else on the team has not been able to identify going live and play. Uh, that's kind of the best answer I can provide. Beautiful. Um, Fred uh, Computer asks, so what does listing in the Google Marketplace mean for the network? How does it benefit the network? Well, I think, and I was just at a conference this morning, um, a lot of Web2 users don't know anything about crypto, but they do use Google Cloud and they use cloud services. And so meeting them where they're at and providing them an experience where they're at um, is a key to onboarding new users into crypto. Um, especially when you're talking about, you know, regulated industries, the ones that I can think of that are actually using uh, blockchain technology and AI technology are, you know, supply chain, um, banks and fintech, healthcare. Those sectors are, you know, they're a little bit slower, but um, getting in front of them and at least them knowing that we even exist is, uh, I firmly believe, one of the ways that we're going to onboard the next billion users into, into crypto and Web3. So um, landing one supply chain use case that actually launches a smart contract on Ethereum, um, you know, is, is millions and maybe even billions of daily requests, especially if you can land a big one like the Maersks or the XPO logistics of the world. So. Beautiful. Other questions? All right, cool. Sasquatch, you guys have any updates on your side? Uh, nothing to report this week. Where you got it. All right, well, then we are uh, at the open portion of the call. So if anyone has questions, comments, compliments, topics for discussion, or anything else outstanding, uh, the floor is yours. Come off mute and kick it out. Um, hi, yeah, I just want to ask, um, after the Shannon rollout, I was wondering if the next priority is going to be AI, and are you guys at PocketScan and Grove going to be pushing for AI hard, or what is the next priority after Shannon lands? Thank you. Fred or Old Shannon? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, oh, do you want to go first, or should I go first? <laughs> <laughs> So I take it over. Okay. Uh, yeah. My uh, my thoughts on this, and, and it's pretty clear for us, is we're gonna stay very focused on path, um, and we're gonna stay. We're gonna get Shannon out. Um, there's a lot of unknown unknowns post Shannon launch too, right? Like any any major software protocol release, there's gonna be a lot of things that pop up very rapidly once it's live. Obviously, Olshansky and the team are doing absolutely everything they can to make sure that it's going to be as smooth as possible of a rollout. Um, beyond that, uh, PATH is going to require a lot of heads down work from our whole team, and we're hoping to also get some open source contributions. We're really going to be focused on onboarding gateways who are then going to onboard traffic. Um, it, I think if you were here last week, you heard Porters is kind of poking around with an AI use case, which is great, um, but they're a gateway. And so if we had better tooling for them to onboard services more quickly, then that unlocks the AI use case. So I think we're kind of one level above talking directly about an AI use case from the Grove standpoint. Um, but we're trying to empower a possible AI gateway or you know uh, some other service gateways to be able to come on to Pocket, provide those services permissionlessly um, and, and serve that traffic.
that answer the question? Beautiful. Other questions? When is the Shannon migration expected? Um, so if you check out the roadmap, that's Q1 of next year. And there will be a time period where both um, Shannon and Moores are kind of operating side by side. And HT is typing again. Oh, can somebody drop the link to their current roadmap, please? Beautiful. Thank you, Fred. You got it. And who's up next? I'll uh, leave the mic open for a couple more minutes to see where everybody's at, but uh, I'm happy to give y'all back some of your time if uh, nobody's got any outstanding questions. When will the benchmarking tests on testnet begin? Is this reg with regards to Shannon or Moore's? Uh, Shannon, it looks like. Let me jump in. So tests have already been ongoing. Uh, I mean, they started a month ago. If you pull the repo and Assuming all the dependencies are there and you simply run make test underscore E to E, it will run a simple local load test. Uh, if uh, needed, I can provide the public open GitHub PRs where the team's having discussions around bugs found during load test, learning made during load test, plan to made during load test. It's all on GitHub. And once the official beta testnet is out and we run a large scale beta, uh, a large scale benchmarking test to ensure that the number of applications and services unlimited, we'll do a full on blog post. So that can be anticipated probably in December or January of next year. 
given that the assessment is aimed to launch in November. Thank you, sir. Good job, I'll send the link, please, when you can. Last call for any other questions or topics. Oh, the link is up in the sidebar now. All right. Well, if that's all we got for this week, then we will see everyone again, same time, same channel next week. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, everybody.